Hello, Brave Awakened Ones. This is Veronica of Hiram Holistics, Medical Empathic Intuitive, Holistic Integrative Health Nurse, Certified Holistic Integrative Health Nurse, Spiritual Counselor and Guide, White Lightworker Sherpa, and author of the children's book, How the Caterpillar Flew, A Journey of Self-Discovery. Okay, um, I might as well call this uh, New Revelations video number eight okay um because of the energies we're going through right now there uh there's one really big thing i want to cover we'll do that at the end with this meditation prayer i want to throw at you guys okay but first um i want to share a revelation that was given to me that it's like three days ago it was given to me but i have been so like weirded out by it that I felt funny about saying it but I am constantly being prodded by my oversoul to say something to say it to say it to say it okay here here's how the vision went okay today's the 19th of February 2019 happy full moon in Virgo okay lots of energy coming with that which we'll talk in the end okay the vision I was given a few days ago was it was, I don't call it a remote viewing, but it felt like a remote viewing. It's not a remote viewing because it's something that didn't take place yet. Okay, so it's just a revelation, a premonition, whatever. But I was like in it. I was in that timeline, I suppose. Just like when I remote view, but when I remote view, it's happening right there. The event, I'm in the event, the people sometimes could sense me being there observing sometimes they don't okay here it goes i'm going to stop dilly dallying about it i i was i was in new york new york city it was like downtown new york i don't know if it was far as wall street area or not but I recognized the area to being more further downtown. I don't know if it's midtown to downtown, but it's New York City itself. Let's put it that way. Um, and then there were like these flashes of light. And I couldn't tell if it was coming from the sky or coming up from the ground. Okay, these columns of light. And then I heard boom, boom, you know, sounds like that booming sound. And then I was just like standing there. The street was deserted because it was just me observing this. And I was like, what's going on? Asking my oversoul, what's going on? And then I heard the Giants are coming. And I'm like, what, Giants football team? I mean, that's the only thing Giants I know of. And then I heard, just heard the Giants are coming in New York. Then just the columns of light and the booming sound. And then the revelation that was given to me besides that scene was this was supposed to take place in L.A., but instead now it's going to take place in New York. That's the revelation I was given. It was supposed to take place in L.A., but now it's going to take place in New York. So let's see what happens. Um, and it also made a connection with those blowing up all, what's going on. They're blowing up things that, trust me, they're blowing things up. And I said this before in my other, um, new revelations videos, when I came out with it, when I remote viewed what was going on in LA and, um, there's those underground bunkers or tunnels, whatever they're doing underground in New York the uh the cabal you know the uh alliance is blowing that shit up that's what's going on so i don't know with the giants are coming i don't know it didn't feel good to me it felt like all-out war breaking out in new york that's what it felt like to me like all-out war was breaking out in new york and it was like and it has to do with 
these darker beings and the lighter beings fighting it out in New York. Um, and I don't know if they're going to spin it like an invasion or some shit like that in New York, because that's what was supposed to happen down in L.A. So I don't know. But I know it's going down in New York. And I was just like nervous about my family because, as you guys know, I'm from New York City. I'm like, oh, my son's up there in college. You know, uh, my younger sister's up there. And uh, so I'm like, yo, what my best friend? I'm like, what about my family and friends? And they said they showed like a veil between them and what's going on. So it's like they'll know of it, but not be affected from it. So like they're protected. So I'm like, okay, cool. So sending love and light out there to New York. But I was prodded to say this because it's something that's going to happen rather soon. When exactly, I don't know. But let's just say soon. A month within this year. I'm sure it's within this year. But I was shown it's going to happen soon. Okay? So that's one thing I needed to cover. Um, the second thing I needed to cover was... Um, your thing was huge. Oh, yeah, this morning, yeah, I was woken up, I was laying down, and this orange, this orange, deep orange flash of light came beaming through my room, and, like, it almost bounced off, because I have, you know, this, this condo's old school, very old, the, um, the, uh, closet doors or, or, or mirrors, and it was like bounced off of it. And it was like this flash of orange light came through my window. And then I was guided to flip over and turn around. And right outside my window, when I turned around, um, the sky looked milky white. It was milky white and orange. And it happened at 555, exactly at 555. Because... I looked at my, um, because I was guided to look at my phone, I looked at the time, and then I was like, I heard turn around, I looked, I turned and I looked outside, and I saw the milky white sky, I'm like 555 five, five, milky white sky, and half of it was orange, and then right outside my window, I know one of the stars was Sirius, I know it was Sirius, I don't know if it was Venus or what the other one was, but it was these three extremely bright stars that were so close, you could see their points twinkling. They were real, because I ran out to my terrace over here, and there they were, but right, they were perfectly aligned. Ding, ding, ding. And then uh, I heard the alignment is perfect now. The alignment is perfect now. So those are the two things I heard. The alignment is perfect now. And the sky was milky white. And I know it has to do, it had to do with the sun. I saw the sun opening up and being that portal. And as my oversoul called it yesterday, that Kali Yuga fire energy coming through. And when I did my meditation with the Sri Yantra, I showed you guys the Sri Yantra yesterday that I had that white energy in the middle. And I never understood why I was drawn to that, that particular Kali Yuga interpretation because I have many others. I was like, why was I drawn to that particular one? And I was told because to help for me to help filter that Kali Yuga energy. That's why the other day I sprouted the angel wings and I, my whole body was behaving as a filter for the energies coming in right now. You know, my angelic form and many of you who are taking your angelic forms also whether you're serving as a filter, an anchor, or, you know, a guardian, you know, you know, to keep the dark ones at bay, to allow the energy to come through because they're fighting so hard for it not to come through. So that, that happened yesterday. This, guy, this morning, I mean, the sky was milky, milky white. And the, the three stars were in a perfect alignment. And I was told the alignment is perfect now. And that orange light blasted through my, uh, through my window and bounced off of that mirror and flipped me around at 555 exactly. So, yeah, that's cool. All right. Now, um, for another thing, 
um, I was guided because I have been actually doing this for the past couple of weeks. I was guided to meditate with this wonderful painting, this wonderful painting that was uh, made for me by um, Julija, J-U-L-I-J-A um, of Shanti Loves Art. And she does spiritual art and it's activating and healing art. Okay, which I told her that's what she's going to be doing. And then she was guided to make this for me. Um, and again, I told several of you guys out there, this is what you're going to be doing too. Uh, when it comes to spiritual, uh, spiritual art, she didn't know that's what it was, but this is what it is. It's spiritual healing and activating art. And she was guided for some reason to make this for me in instead of the uh, Mandela that she was going to originally make. And I knew I received this to heal to heal relationships, to heal my heart and heal others' hearts, okay? That is why this was made. Now, why this is important right now, part of the energies um, that we need to really embody this Kali Yuga fire energy that's coming through, or you want to call it the great solar flash or the great event energy, the great awake, whatever, the great ascension energy, the great blast, whatever. Um, you need to heal. It's about healing healing the hurt that's in Gaia, but you could also use it to specifically heal a loved one. Heal yourself and the relationship between a loved one, which, would I, which is what I have been doing for myself and my daughter. Because um, like I told you guys, um, we had a soul contract and that soul contract is completed. And I had to write out the contract. It was called a life for life. And I had to burn it and say, okay, that's it. And when I went to see her for Christmas, and I was warned by my oversoul that her soul, and I saw how angry her soul was because it felt like I abandonment, but it's not abandonment at all. Um, it's not abandonment. A lot of you guys feel that way also. It's abandonment. It's not abandonment when you say okay that's it because 2019 I told everyone 2019 is about starting your part B you already completed the transmutation of all the uh, the, ge the genetic um, deep embedded hurt and pain that needed to be transmuted all that pain and abuse that needed to be transmuted all that negative energy you're done with that you're done with it this 2019 is about you sprouting your angel wings uh, you know because i'm um, angel and ascended master both it's time for us to take that up time to take up that mantle we're done with the old one okay but this is to help them heal and to help gaia and the collective heal when it comes to that and it was so powerful and i was guided to add this the um i'm gonna say it please don't laugh and make fun of me because since this ascension thing has gotten more intense, my enunciation and spelling is out the door. Okay. Hello, Pono Pono. Hello, Pono Pono. H O L O P O N O P O N O. It is the Hawaiian, um, the Hawaiian uh, forgiveness prayer. Okay. And Shakina Rose is. I was listening to her doing it this morning and. And then my oversoul triggered me. It was like, I, I, my whole body, it's like went into this immense sweat and my heart just went up in flames. And I was looking at this painting at the same time, which I keep right across from my bed. And I was just like, oh wow, to make it even more powerful for everybody and to really put it out there, we're going to add this to it. So you could look at this and we're going to say it three times, okay? And when you do it on your own, when you say this on your own, um, I was guided that you could add the name of your loved one. So if it's your mom, your dad, or your child, or your husband, whoever. And also you do it for the collective. So I put in the name of my daughter and I also did it just for the collective. Okay. So when you look into this, and I'm holding it because I'm putting energy into it for you guys too. Okay. I'm adding some Reiki healing energy with it. Okay. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. 
Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. So mote it be. Alrighty, there we go. Okay, I'm melting out here. Another thing, oh my God, it's so hot here. It's already 80 degrees and it's like 10 o'clock in the morning um, here. And I just, I was just saying yesterday, oh my God, there's no, there was no winter this year. Usually it gets down in the 40s and you know, December, January, and February are rather cool. And it starts warming up again in March, but hardly any winter and it's part of the extremities yes that's the other thing that just clicked in my head i'm sorry and i had it written down too the news the mainstream media is going to come out and start talking about the pole shift they're going to call it the and the person who's going to talk about it or the meteorologist it's going to start of course it never starts in america it's going to start over there in Europe, and then eventually we're going to start talking about it over here in America, and they're going to call it a natural phenomenon that's taking place, and we think this explains the severe weather. Meteorologists feel, climatologists feel, this is part of the severe weather, and they're going to try to spin the spraying and the chemtrailing the contrail, not contrails, the chemtrails, all that spraying, they're going to try to weave it into, you know, we're trying to do this to help with it, which is other utter BS and people aren't going to buy it. So it's part of their undoing. Let's put it that way. It's all part of their undoing. They're part of their undoing because all things done in the dark now must come to light. And the, the alignment is here for that energy to keep flowing in. And remember, like I said last time, we're going through three rinse cycles. We just went through one, okay? And this full moon, it's like the, it's like the peak of it, okay? Of the first rinse cycle we're going through. And now we have two more to go through to until the big, until the big, big wave comes in, which is around anywhere between March 19 and it keeps going till the end of March to jet us into the new world. Let's put it that way. Okay. And just because we're in the new world does not mean all of a sudden the cabal is going to completely disappear. It's still a cleanup time. The cleanup time ends, uh, keeps going until 2022. Okay. All right. Namaste. And if anyone's interested in joining me on healing me meditation, Reiki tapping circle, my virtual healing circle, that's Saturdays at 6 p.m. Eastern ten Standard Time. And you can register on my website, higherrealmholistics.com. And if you're interested in um, purchasing my book, children's book, How the Caterpillar Flu, you can get it from my website or you can get it online at any major online book retailer if you want it faster. And also you could... Um, you could, uh, you know, request sessions from my website also, along with purchase meditations. And thank you, Patreons and my lovely supporters and subscribers. Namaste. Peace. We already got this lady B out.